Hello everyone. I got a new pot for bike packing and I want to talk to you guys about it. So recently I had to move and in doing so also had to downsize. And I've had to think very critically and thoughtfully about what bike stuff I want to keep and what bike stuff I need to either donate, sell, or uh, throw away. Um, lest I have piles of stuff everywhere. And so I got this Vargo bot for Christmas along with a Soto Windmaster stove. And I wanted to keep these things because I haven't tried them out yet and because they're really nice. And since I decided to keep these two things, I wanted to try to dial in my cook set a little bit more because I become increasingly disappointed with my Tokes titanium cook set I, that I made a video about maybe six months ago or so. And I've been really wanting something a little bit bigger and something a little bit more efficient. The last couple of bikepacking trips that I've gone on, I've found myself needing to boil like a little bit more water than the 700 milliliter uh, pot actually will boil. And the stove that I have, which is a cheap, $15 titanium stove that I got off of Amazon just doesn't quite cut it. And so I asked my mom for a stove and a pot for Christmas uh, before I knew that I had to move. So I'm finding myself just like wanting to kind of dial everything in. So I asked for the titanium bot. I have not used this yet. I, I don't have a review on it. I don't have any preliminary thoughts on it except it is really, really, really obnoxious to open. It's horrible. It's horrible. Oh my God, I hate that sound so much. I'm so sorry you had to listen to that. It's even worse when you try to close it. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> There are a couple of reasons that I wanted the Vargo bot. And one of them is because it has a twist, twisty lid, which I am, I'm not regretting, but it's just awful. I don't know if it'll get better over time, but it's just not fun to listen to. It's also larger than my 700 and my 700 milliliter pot. This is, I think it's a liter or I think about, it's either 900 milliliters or it's a, it's a full liter. And it has the two handles, which is really nice. I also had what I thought was going to be a really brilliant idea, which was putting a double walled titanium mug and nesting it inside of the Vargo bot. So I did all of this research about diameters of different cups that were available. And I landed on the Snow Peak M series, which are these really nice, um, they're these really nice double walled mugs and they are, they don't have a handle. And I thought that I might just be able to kind of nestle this into this pot. And I chose the 400 milliliter size and lo and behold, it doesn't fit. And I can't return this mug, but I will say this is one of my favorite mugs that I have ever drank out of. I've just been using it at home. I really like it. So no regrets other than that it's an expensive ass mug, but I, um, but it doesn't fit in the pot the way that I wanted or intended it to. When I can stomach the idea of spending 30 or $40 on a titanium, a titanium mug, I'm going to try the M300 to see if it'll fit in here, maybe the 200 liter milliliter. So, so we'll see TBD on that. But the whole idea behind this is that I wanted to create this all in one, all encompassing, like everything you could possibly need to just like boil water and cook a meal and have a hot beverage inside of this pot. So I'm going to work on that and I will keep you posted. I do have this in my current cook kit and I can fit a canister of fuel. I have a mini Wildo fold a cup, which is fine. It's just fine. It's a really nice cup to just have on a trip if you need it, but it's not super satisfying to drink out of because it doesn't keep things very warm. And it's also just kind of it's kind of a strange shape to hold. 
And so I wanted, while I really like this little cup, it, I wanted something a little bit different and dial in my cook kit exactly the way that I want. The other thing that I got for Christmas was the Soto Windmaster stove. And I haven't tried this stove out yet. It's very large. It is so much bigger than the other stove I have. Oh, Y'all like, look at this. This thing is like absolutely fucking massive. It's huge for a stove. My other one is like this big. So anyway, my hope here with this stove and with this pot is to just like really dial things in and to be more efficient because the stove that I have currently is just, just doesn't cut it. It wastes a lot of fuel and I think I've real, and it's gotten worse the more I use it. So I actually think I'm going to pin a comment in my video on my current cook set that I no longer recommend that stove because it's really wasteful. So yeah, y'all, I am on my way to dialing in my freaking bike packing cook kit and I'm kind of excited about it. I like really enjoy modular things and I like camping and I like figuring out exactly what it is that I like. And I feel like I've come a really long way in kind of knowing exactly what works for me on bikepacking trips. So I'm looking forward to having this complete at some point and showing it to you guys. So if y'all have the Vargo bot with the handle, because not all of them have this, let me know what you think of it. And also let me know if the noise, oh, I can't, I can't. Let me know if the noise gets better, please. I, I really hope that it does. Or if something helps it at all. Maybe I am just a weenie, but that noise is just, it's super grating. It's like nails on a chalkboard. Anywho, this is a video about a new pot that I got and I appreciate y'all watching until this moment. If you like this content and you would like to see more, if you wanna see me try out a particular piece of gear, or if you have any suggestions on content that you'd like to see, please leave a comment below. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week.